Good morning. It's good to see everyone here today. There's a couple of things I just want you to take note of. The first of all, if you are a visitor, we love having you here. There should be a visitor's card uh, found on the back of your uh, the chair in front of you. Don't mind just filling it out so we have record of you being here. Uh, there's some other things I just want to announce to you this morning. Uh, first of all, tomorrow at 8.30 will be our men's ministry that meets right next door in the CLC. A uh, good time. We have uh, breakfast and studying God's Word. We've been going through a book by, by Charles Stanley. And then 10 o'clock on Tuesday is uh, <coughs> Busy Hands. That's our women's ministry. Then Thursday is also at 10 o'clock our, our Women of Faith. It's a women's Bible study. But some other things for you all to take note of. Uh, Guardians of the Gospel. That's for rebranding, revamping our uh, Wednesday night. Uh, Children's Discipleship Program, that starts September 4th. So I encourage you, bring your, your kids, grandkids, neighbor kids, you know, anyone you can get to be here be, would be, would be appreciated. Um, after the service, ladies, <coughs> the WMU, they are having their picture taken. So uh, hang around, it, it'll be brief, it'll be quick. Uh, <coughs> God's Food Pantry, they're packing on the 26th and distribute on the 28th. And then uh, two things to take note of over here. There's our bulletin board. Uh, Equip is September 5th. That's uh, when we're going to leave here and try to be in Somerset by 5.30, uh, going to Beacon Hill Baptist Church. They have different breakout sessions on different things to help equip us as a church to do different ministries. If you're interested in that, when you leave on the in that table, in the foyer, there's a, <coughs> a sheet that says all the classes and whatnot that will be offered. So if you're interested in that, have a, uh, we have a sign-up, and we'd just love to have that, to have good records. Again, uh, food will be provided. It won't cost you anything, but it would just good to have a head count. And by the same token, <coughs> over in the bulletin board, Young at Heart, uh, they have a, uh, this, <coughs> this Thursday, they have, they have a sign-up sheet, and it's right over there as well. So those are some things I want you to take note of, pray about. Uh, take one of these trifolds home with you and, and look to see what's going on. There's something for everyone. Thank you. Well, good morning. Let's all stand and get ready to worship the Lord. Oh, you 
your garments spotless are they white as snow are you washed in the blood of the lamb thank you now is our time of prayer requests and praises and uh uh, there's some names I just want to make mention of. It's not a comprehensive list, but there's some I want to highlight. Uh, be in prayer for Joe Allen, also uh, Sharon Abner, uh, and Linda Ferris, Chuck Gamble, Steve Hines, also Jess Winford. Uh, <clears throat> Jess Winford's dealing with cancer at this time and a couple different issues, so continue to remember her. Uh, Don Rogers, he had his heart transplant, and it went well, but continued to pray for him as well. Uh, Bobby Bowman, Joyce Bowman, uh, Kathy Chandler, uh, Vicki Killian, she, she's here with us today. She went in the hospital earlier this week, and, and she's back. Um, Don Mills, Aubrey Maggard, uh, continue to pray for Suzanne Eaton. She just had a, had a rough time this year that they uh, hopefully get her some, some healing and some uh, some answers to make sure she can uh, continue to go forward. Uh, Sarah Eaton, Delmer Mills, uh, Robbie Norman, Paula Pelt, uh, Tanya Sawyer, she has surgery on the 30th, so continue to uh, remember her, remember Richard as, as he, you know, is there for, for her as well. Uh, Jocelyn uh, Sargent, Claire Rose Severe, little girl, she's uh, continue to remember her, having uh, surgery as well, uh, Pete Toth, uh, Nancy Scott, uh, remember Mary Scott, she's been here a lot with us lately, and that's a prayer, so continue to, to pray for her, Joe Laws, he has surgery in his home, um, Olive Scott, we know her, she passed recently, so uh, we'll get you more details when we find out more about the funeral and the arrangements and all that, but remember uh, Olive and also, her, her husband, Paul, we, me and Bobby Joe was able to see them the other day. Um, and then again, just the families that lost loved ones. Um, the family of Gary Compton, they want you to know, appreciate their prayers and support. We're going to have a card that they've uh, written to the church. It's going to be right out there on the bulletin board as well. Uh, Charlie Johnson's family, remember him. Continue to remember Linda. And also, uh, George Terrell family. Um, and then just continue to remember Henry Broughton and also what's going on in Israel and in the Ukraine area and also just our country in our, our presidential year, presidential election year. And Chiara Gomez, that's, that's Max's daughter, continue to, to lift her up as well. So if you don't mind, just join me in a word of prayer. Our Father God, when we come here today, Lord, help our focus to be on you and who you are, Lord, and, and that you are worthy of all our praise, and, and, and Lord, help, help us to always put you first in our life. And God, we lift up different prayer requests. We lift up those that uh, are going through some sort of hardship, whether it's medical or, or, or maybe they're being a caretaker for someone or or possibly it's financial, whatever it is, Lord, that, God, you'd work in those situations. Uh, we ask that you give comfort and peace to those who are grieving a loss of a loved one, whether it's recent or, or in the past, Lord, that uh, let them know they're in a place where people love them and, and will be there for them, Lord. And, God, we, we also lift up any unspoken prayer requests. Often we don't, we may not mention them, Lord, but those are some of the the heaviest burdens that we carry around, Lord. So God has asked you to be in those situations, Lord, and that people know there's, again, people here that, that want to be there for them and, and lock arms with them, Lord. And God, just be with our country and our leaders. That, Lord, that we have leaders that seek to do your will, to seek to please you. Uh, and, Lord, uh, leaders that we have that don't know you, that they would come to, to know you, Lord. And God has asked you to be with Bobby Joe later, that he would speak your words and, and your truth, Lord, and Lord, that we would have receptive hearts and minds, that we wouldn't just know your truth, but we would apply it and, and live it, and people would see you in us, Lord. So God, we just thank you for your son and who he is. In his name we pray, amen.
I think everyone in the building should know this song, so let's stand and really sing out this time.
Amen.